Hey, what's up guys? So, I've been working on the uh, on the uh, machine a bit more and we are now getting to the stage where the frame is done. Uh, some parts have already arrived, others are arriving and we should be um, we should be progressing quite nicely. So, the frame itself was uh, was um, willed up uh, at the end of, uh, of July, should be finished now, but I still haven't um, done the final preparations for mounting the rails, uh, ground down all the um, uh, weldments uh, or weld build up uh, where it interferes with the with the assembly of the frame and all that kind of stuff. Now, in total, I think I spent uh, on the on the cutting, uh, welding, um, all that kind of stuff. I think I spent maybe about twelve. No, probably more. I would say maybe 16, 20 hours on the on the frame. So to um, to make sure we have a well, at least relatively uh, square and accurate frame to work with. And I'm guessing that um, the finishing, you know, cleaning, setting up, tapping all the holes for the linear rails, you know, adjusting the frame uh, initially to make sure it's nice and square. I'm guessing that's going to take an additional 12, uh, 12 hours at least. So, so in general, the, the build is progressing nicely, and um, we should get the linear rails by the end of July because we had to order them um, um, as a uh, as a as a custom size because we didn't really have anything that fit our our machine because the the bed width is uh, 1,400 millimeters and the um, Sorry, the I guess the the y-axis is y-axis travel is 1,450 millimeters, and the x-axis uh, travel is 1,650 millimeters. Because we have to keep some space in the back to you know to keep tools and all that kind of stuff. But um, we got we got a pretty good price. They are uh, Highwind HGR 15 uh, rails, which I've used before and I'm very very happy with. So no, no problems on that part. And since the machine is mostly meant for, um, for wood, plastics and MDF and all that kind of stuff, it's probably gonna be more than enough to keep all the, all the, all the things working as they should and not have you know a lot of flex. And it may do some uh, aluminum cutting, but I'm guessing it's gonna be far and few between in between. Right. So the next step, which you're going to see in the video, uh, first I'm going to square up the the bed frame, and unfortunately I don't have that much more um, video on it because my my battery crapped out. But I have some video on building the the gantry, and um, I'm going to get to the gantry next. But uh, just to just to start on this, uh, the bed frame, the outer frame, is done from 80 times 40 times three and a half millimeter uh, steel, re rectangular steel tubes. It's well lit up and the um, inner frame is done from 40 times 40 times uh, three millimeter uh, steel tube. And I'm guessing it weighs maybe around, I'm gonna say maybe 40 kilos, maybe 50 kilos, something like that. It's 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 pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy. But the idea is that it's gonna be the bed, right? So it needs to support the weight. Plus, it needs to be stiff enough that when we have the machine done, and we'll have a sacrificial plate of MDF, which we can also use as the uh, as the vacuum plate. And the idea is that using that. We should not really have any 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 big trouble um, holding down big pieces of um, of, uh, of wood or plastics or aluminum and uh, and milling it. So I would say that it's beneficial to have a heavier but also stiffer 
um, uh, CNC router table because in the end it's going to give you a more um, how to say a more constant result so you can expect the, 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 sim the same or similar result every time and the, the, the goal of the machine is actually to have an accuracy of 0 0.1 uh, millimeters or less um, which is uh, four thousandths of an inch and to be completely honest for 99% of the time that's more than enough because most of the parts that you know fit together or uh, all, that, all that kind of stuff it's 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 very unlikely that somebody who's building a bench is going to need accuracy in the in the one thousandth rate range. I mean, it's well, of course you can do it, but you have to you know you have to get a granite plate or a big uh, you know flat surface to weld the frame on. As you can see, I'm not exactly you know welding it on a on a flat plate because there was none that was large enough and to be honest, square enough. Because the the workbenches that you see here. I measured them with a straight edge, a, a one meter long straight edge, and I mean they were so crooked that, you know, it's, I, I would say that welding them almost floating as the way that I am is going to produce the same results. So, and, and besides, even if it is a bit off, we can adjust that with shims and stuff once we assemble the frame in, in, in general. But um, the uh, the gantry, which is going to be the next video, uh, sorry, the the next segment in this video, was done from uh, 100 times 40 times three and a half millimeter steel uh, tubes welded up together, and the backing supports are made from 40 times 40 times three millimeter uh, pieces that are cut at 45 degrees. And um, I don't really think that they're that necessary, but I wanted to uh, add them to, to give to the frame a little bit of rigidity. But again, to be completely honest, I'm very skeptical that we'll, we'll ever bend the, the gantry. But it looks cool and uh, it looks nice, so it's not a bad thing. But um, I'm going to finish for now. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, you know, if you want... If you want to see more videos like this, you can always subscribe and stuff. So, um, yeah. And I promise there will be more interesting videos coming. I mean, right now it's just doing all the, the, the sort of the boring work to get to the more interesting work. Like, you know, setting up rails, uh, setting up the electronics, testing the machine, all that kind of stuff. But I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's going to come mostly in August, not before. So, uh, yeah. All right, but thanks again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, you, can always, uh, you can always send me a message if you want to know uh, more about the build. And, uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. Ha have, a, have a nice week.
Dura. Ja kui, kui tema ei saa tulla sellist, et mulle tagas, eks jah? Okei, okay, võsi, tšau!